Green Bay High School. I'm Jade and this is the Cougar Campus News. Attention students, only about half of you have completed the student survey. We need input from many more of you. This data is super important to know what is working well at our school and what needs improvements. Sophomores have the fewest surveys completed. What's up with that? You should be able to search your Gmail for an email from Dr. Yerby and see a link to the survey. If you can't find it, let a teacher know or email Dr. Yerby and she will send you one. Attention teachers and students. The month of October has started, which means it's time for the annual SOC donation competition during the advisory period. Stay tuned for more details with Mr. Jones and get into the spirit of Socktober. This past Thursday in the quad, we had a spirited club jam. Let's check it out. Over a dozen clubs out here recruiting new members. I mean, look around, we got clubs run by students. You don't see staff out here, you see students welcoming students. We got a robotic club over there, we got drama, we got cycling and climbing. This is incredible. There's no way you cannot get involved here at Half Moon Bay High School. Just look around. volunteers to assist at the face painting booth during the pumpkin festival. Those who sign up and attend will earn community service hours and get priority for next semester's art department field trip. Interested? Sign up with any of the art teachers today. There will be an open art studio every Wednesday at lunch in room K-12, Miss Anderson's room. Come enjoy a safe, creative space to work on your own art projects. Open to both staff and students. Our materials are available, or you can bring your own. Feel free to eat your lunch while you work. And now it's time to recognize the math leads for the month of September in Ms. Baker's Algebra 2 classes. The girls varsity and tennis team beat Semitale 5-2. Highlights of the match included a gritty win by Kate Underwood in singles against a very strong opening, and a commendable victory in doubles with Nicole Hide and Andrea Galindo winning 6-4, 6-2 against a very experienced doubles team for the Bearcats. Two other double teams earned wins. Vivian Brennan 
and Gwen Kenna O'Reilly came from behind to win. And Georgia Carter and Lauren McClellan also won for the Cougars. In volleyball news, the varsity team came up short against Terranova this past Thursday despite a strong showing for individuals like Amelia Ortolan, Kay Billington, and Ginger Sullivan. Attention all girls interested in playing soccer this winter. There will be an introductory meeting this Friday in G3 at lunch. If you are unable to attend, please contact Mr. Berrigan for more information. The girls golf team won a close match versus Cappuccino last week. Mackenzie Cheney got her first birdie. Sophia Riley and Brogan Riley were the top scorers with a 48 each. Aubrey Ball and Fiona Pauli each played well as the Cougars won the match by five strokes. Here are some pictures for the home game from the home match at the wrist. The answer to our trivia question from this past Thursday, El Salvador. Yeah, I've got my jersey on again here today on the news. And if you had zoomed in closely, you would notice right here, the ES, El Salvador. We had a few people guess Spain, some guessed France. One person guessed that I was wearing a USA jersey. Does this look like the USA jersey? El Salvador. We offer our congratulations to the hottest trivia player going, Mr. Moreno. In his advisory period, they were the fastest answer. And a shout out to the overall leader, Mr. Galvin. In his advisory class, the second fastest to respond. Now today we're going to kind of stick along that same theme line. Our category is international soccer. Watch your email for the question from me and have a marvelous Monday out there. Half Moon Bay High School.